would love to know your opinion, especially when we're in a scaling high growth, we're in some type of a transition or inflection point, which seems to be every year nowadays. Um, how do you structure those meetings and what? how do you decide here are the meetings we need to have and here's what we need to accomplish during them? I think it's really, I mean, what I do with a lot of companies when they're having that, where they've got meeting overload, it's sitting down, creating that list of your meetings and going through, why are we having this meeting? You know, if we're just having a meeting to share information, get rid of the meeting, let's get into email, let's get other ways. You know, are you actually working on problems, making sure everybody's on the same page, or they means it help move the company forward? I mean, that's really what I go through is kind of that criteria to get people to start really challenging the meetings. And it's also, I tell people, look at a meeting and say, am I adding value or getting value from this meeting other than just information? You know, because if you aren't, then you shouldn't be in that meeting, you know, and and once you start seeing that and then start showing people, you know, sometimes it's just doing the economics and saying, okay, we've got, you know, you know, $200,000 worth of salary sitting in this meeting for an, a half a day. Was that worth it? Um, but I do think these leadership meetings are, and I think it's really helping them understand and making sure the meetings are productive. Once again, it isn't just information sharing. It's got to be really talking about the priorities of the business understanding how they're getting, you know, what they're doing, what they're getting done, because it also builds trust among the team. If they see themselves, take, you know, see their teammates taking accountability for something and come back next week and say, yeah, I got this done or I ran into this problem, can you help me? That starts building that trust among the team members as well and getting keeping them on the same page. Um, and that's why I said it's a weekly, it's not a daily, you know, it's not a monthly or quarterly because that's too far apart. But I find that weekly cadence is just good for those quick check-ins and try and keep them 30 minutes to start they start extending as people get more and more in dialogue to keeping them short and keeping them to kind of start building that trust and building the fact that they're so each they're supporting each other as they move forward and focusing on that as part of that meeting and not just a show up, report and leave. 